commonly equate blocked arteries as a problem in the heart, but any of our veins can become clogged with plaque. It affects blood flow and can have life-threatening implications. Even for the healthiest person will have eventually some plaque in their vessels. We have to make sure that they don't have problem with the vessels that go into their brain in the, in the carotid vessels. Many times the blocked arteries will occur in the leg. That's what 93-year-old Thomas Fagan experienced. I couldn't walk and the pains in the leg. When they don't have enough blood going to their leg, they have pain in the beginning and after when it's much worse, they can have even an ulcer and uh, they can go all the way to the gangrene. Thomas was diagnosed with peripheral artery disease and went to Dr. Ben Mommer for treatment. And he put a stent in there, which eliminated the, the problem. Stenting the artery to open the blockage is a common course of action. It can be done through open surgery or minimally invasively through a catheter. Whenever there is the blockage, it's either we start by putting the balloon, open up the balloon, we call it angioplasty. Sometimes it's not enough, so we have to hold that opening with a stent. Vascular surgeons are able to treat blockages wherever they occur. In some cases, they pose the potential for an aneurysm bigger it gets, higher the risk for the vessel to rupture, and that's a big deal. So we have to treat that vessel before the rupture. Fixing the veins through vascular surgery can help people enjoy life and get back on their feet without pain. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.